Have you ever watched Killer Bean and wanted to start making 3D animations because you are so deeply inspired by it but instantly get intimidated when you open the Blender menu? Well, fear not. This new AI paper called Monster Mesh is just right for you. Monster Mesh is like scratch to programming where it targets more immature use of 3D animation. All you have to do is to draw, inflate the drawing, and animate it. Given such a basic process, it can give you pretty good results too, as you can see from their official demo showing the process of animation by a pro animator. What's especially good about Monster Mesh is that it requires no modeling, rigging, or 3D manipulation. These are the most time-consuming process when it comes to 3D animation and requires a lot of knowledge on character animation and time to perfect them. And with this built-in deformation function, the AI is able to converge the poses over frames, which shows this underlying physics like engine, where you can interact with the 3D model like a real world puppet. So you basically only need 6 control points to produce this fluent animation, and compared to traditional animation methods, it is much faster and easier. This is because this AI makes animating feel as if you are playing with a puppet. You can basically use trial and error to find the perfect motion in a playground environment where you can freely toss the 3D model around. However, the current AI only allows looping motions, but this can be a good tool for referencing, experimenting, or creating simple animations for larger projects as we can export to .object files and use it in other professional 3D editing softwares. Right now, the current demo only allows single viewpoint animation, but it is possible to animate on a different plane, so it is really limited to what you can do with it right now, but I think we can expect a pretty good product when this AI paper gains more attraction. The best part is that you can apply textures on the 3D models too. So you can basically import yours onto the web demo and basically apply that texture onto the model you drew. All you have to do is to trace the image and the AI will apply the texture on top according to its projections of your image. So by now you are probably bored looking at these beautiful official demos so it's time to let my results go wild. Since 3D model animations are pretty straightforward, I guess I'll screw around with it a bit more in some less expensive aspects. So this online demo lets us upload our own template which can later on be used to apply as textures when we inflate the object. However, the downsides of the web demo is that it has limited hardware so it cannot produce complex structures and it will usually fail if you try to inflate the object with too much detail. Like from all the tests I've done, I could only do 2 or 3 extra layers until the inflating process started to fail which was pretty annoying. So all my results look like those inflated balloons being animated. And describing it as an inflated balloon is even more accurate when you look from the side. After you inflate it, you are able to toss around the object in an environment to see how each of the parts interact with each other. Like you can tell the legs are not stable, so we will need to fix those points when you are animating. And what I found to be the most difficult was animating as expected. When there are too many limbs and they are just too long, animating them consistently was kind of difficult to master if your initial motion is too fast. If only this demo could slow down or I have to just animate it slower. So the result was not as good as I expected. But when I traced a chibi kaguya, it worked kind of well. Since it is a chibi character, the features are way smaller and shorter, reducing the unpredictable limp motions to basically none. Therefore, it can be very natural while moving. So you can do some cute motions in 2D, but when it goes to a 3D angle, it is indeed questionable since the textures are pretty much stretched at the side. And if you don't draw it too well or stack too many strokes together, it will start breaking apart when you are moving the model around around. So watch out how you layer your strokes. Okay, like I tried to make more standout layers of Padoru, but after inflating her, it does not work anymore. So I only traced the silhouette so we can have a very bouncy Padoru and animating around it was kind of fun. So at the end, it feels like I was animating in 2D instead of more of a 3D aspect, but I guess it could have the potential to animate in 2D too. It's just that it will skip the model part as this is one of the key features of Monster Mesh. To be honest, we really can expect much of the web demo until they release something that is like more practical for animating purposes. It will probably involve a lot of money again just like Dolly E so we will most likely not be able to access the full functional AI freely in the future. But overall this is a really great paper and compared to those literally half-assed 3D modeling before, this is so much improvement not only in the aspect of model generation, deformation, and optimization but also created a new way of animating without rigging. This video is sponsored by Infinite Red. 
Infinirig Consulting handles your mobile web and AI needs. If you are looking for someone to build your app, visit with the link down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and a big shout out to Connie and many other Patreons that support my work through Patreon. Join my Discord and follow my Twitter if you haven't and I'll see y'all in the next one.